ride home with Auntie. How y'all doing? How you doing? I hope you all had a wonderful weekend. I had a very interesting weekend, child. Mm-hmm. Child, um, so this weekend I went and grabbed some things that I needed from my home now until I can get some things to just get to buy, get had to get by. Left on the East Guadalupe Road. So, um, I went by the Goodwill on Sunday and picked up some pots so that I can, and, and a casserole pan so that I could cook me something. I cooked myself some broccoli uh, with some quinoa. Turn left on the East Guadalupe Road. And, um, <clears throat> and, um, corn with, um, uh, red peppers and onions and it was just delicious very thankful to be able to cook in my own home um, I went by the Dollar Tree went by the 99 cent store because they're going out of business so see if there was anything that I could use for my home and there was nothing everybody and their mama was out there though um, and Dollar Tree East to get a couple miles. of things for my home. So, you know, just the little things that I need to get by. And, um, I experienced someone shoot somebody. Minding my business in my car. That's right. That's right, yo. Yes, I was driving to the Dollar Tree from the 99 cent store up in uh, in in Scottsdale funny enough I believe it's Scottsdale and homeboy just on the corner he, somebody I guess somebody offended him or something I don't know what they did but he just you know pulled out the gat shot somebody and proceeded to call somebody I don't know because I left Okay, that got me thinking that maybe I need to get me some protection, you know what I'm saying? But the reason why I don't really do that is I feel like once you do something like that, you kind of draw the energy where you wouldn't need to use it. So I'm like, uh, 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 God has been protecting me thus far, you know what I'm saying? Getting a gun at this point, which has you know, I don't know. I just don't fit. You know, I mean, it might be good to have and learn how to use if I sh should I ever really need to use it, especially in a state where you can, you know, carry. You know, I don't know if you can carry concealed weapons, but you definitely can carry clearly because homeboy had one. And, um,. To give a little more caveat to um, the situation, why are we standing here? Please tell me. Anyway, we ain't go. I'm not gonna trip about it right now. I just didn't want the traffic. I was right, right smack in the middle of the intersection, and there was some traffic there. Go ahead, other jeep. But outside of that, I found me a fries like home where it has a cheese section. Yeah, I glossed over it because I'm still kind of shocked. And I told friends, and as I was speaking about it, the Holy Spirit said, don't go into details about it. So I'm not, there it is, just I saw someone shot somebody um, in broad daylight. Rock a die, baby. Rock a bye, baby. I said that wrong. I said rock a die. Well, <laughs> well, rock a bye, baby. Okay, because uh, oh, I had to. I do want to finish my thought that here in Arizona, um, they have gun shops in your local shopping center. Okay, so you know, you know, I might have to get it where I live, or at least you know. When in Arizona, do as Arizona. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. We shall see. Now, um, 
I just want to talk a little bit. I think I talked about J. Cole's response to Kendrick, um, but I heard recently, this morning actually, that J. Cole apologized for his his response in his three-minute message, and people are not liking it. What is wrong with you? Hey, nephew. Hey, niece. Baby, what, why are you mad that he apologized? I heard the speech. Okay, how you apologize? I mean, somebody said, how you apologizing to the person who violated you? How? In words? In words. Um, I mean, he didn't, uh, he, I personally feel, again, I'm going to say it again. Kendrick Lamar, I'm going to tell you. My whole spirit is saying, I don't know what Drake did to him, or he tried him in what way he tried Kendrick, but his verse in like that was personal, like mad personal, like he was pissed. He was pissed off, okay? J. Cole kind of responded, and I, I don't know if I said it in my last video about his, when I did it, but... I felt like he just responded because everybody expected him to respond. You know what I'm saying? As opposed to him responding honestly because he felt some type of way. I also feel like in Kendrick Lamar that with his diss was really all aimed at Drake. That's what my spirit feels. It's all aimed at Drake. Cole, J, he got, J. Cole got astray like you standing next to him dog so you're gonna get this Turn too Turn left. so it's not about him not liking i don't feel like he went too hard in on on j cole because someone said something about the stick let me break down that verse real quick for you i feel like his or how i feel that verse was supposed to go will be on the left Okay, I'm gonna pull into. I'm a, I'm gonna go around the corner. I'm gonna do that because I want to do something different. Because I want to tell you, he says, um, if he walk around with that stick, he's not Andre Three Cat. Okay. Prior to that, he said that I got PTSD. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? He is saying something about himself when he mentions, because somebody else had meant, broke down that verse, that part of the verse where he's talking about if you walk around with that stick, that he's talking about J. Cole. No. Uh, aphorism, a slang for a pune pune, if you know what I mean is a stick or a gat or heat a stick so, so he's saying like he's talking about himself he's talking about um if he walks around with that stick it ain't andre 3k i'm not coming in peace i chose violence he said i he said that my my personality is bipolar and i choose violence he is pissed J. Cole just responded because people expected him to. As he said in his apology. This is not something he wanted to do. But at any rate, y'all. I'm coming to the end of my video. That's about nine minutes and left lane to turn whatever. Left onto South Alma School Road. And um, I'm going to go and get this oil change and go right. home. And I will talk to y'all tomorrow. Feet, turn right onto West Macedo Avenue about some <laughs> i get that from alexander rogers from the biffa emporium yeah i'm not i i don't even can't tell you what i know what that is but i'll talk to y'all about something because i got some more oh ooh, tomorrow maybe a bonus tonight when i get home beyonce and jay-z with and this diddy take oh got it that one needs to be live on youtube on my Patreon. Uh, anyway, I'll talk to y'all. Deuces.